What up, y'all? I'm back, and we got a very serious issue going on. And this ain't just no little petty shit. This is some serious shit that somebody needs to be called out on. So, give me just a minute to invite some people into this, because I want everybody to witness what I'm about to fucking say. And this isn't just about haters in general. This is about family members that are haters towards me. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I'm making this video. Hmm. Or doing this live stream. And that is because this morning I found out that my dad no longer wants anything to do with me. Ever since I went down there, he was always tearing me down, saying, you know, I'll never make it in music, that I need to find a real job, and just basically doing everything he could to tear me down about my music career. Well, guess what, old man? Fuck you. I fucking made it. And your fucking psychopathic bitch of a wife can go fuck herself. And I know you guys are watching it. I'm not fucking dumb. You and your fucking psychopathic bitch of a wife need to go fucking jump off a cliff and go fuck yourselves. Because what you guys did to me when I was down there back in 2014 was wrong. And if you guys want to know what these two did, one, I had a fucking boil on my leg to the point where I couldn't walk. And it was so infected that I almost lost my leg because they refused to take me to the hospital, for one. Second off, when I was down there, my own dad tricked me into drinking and getting drunk off my ass. And before that, I had never had a drink in my life. Third off, oh, by the way, as for when it came to drinking, I was peeking my guts out about an hour for an hour straight after that. So that was fun. Third off, his fucking psychopathic bitch of a wife decided to fucking attack me several times when we got into an argument. Not only verbally, physically attacked me. Oh, and not to mention... She left me outside in the freezing fucking cold that morning when me and her got into it. So yeah, I had every fucking reason to leave you guys. And then y'all want to sit there and talk shit about my mom and my family? Really? Y'all motherfuckers are stupid as fuck. And you sit there and say, I need to learn how to structure a sentence? Bitch, you need to get your fucking head out your ass. Okay, you know what? I made it in music. I fucking made it in music without you fucking too. You guys want to sit there and say, oh, I didn't make it bullshit. Look me up on Spotify, motherfuckers. Shadowblade, please notice me. My new album. Blackout, my hit singer, this one. Dude, come on. I've made it. And it's no thanks to you, motherfuckers. After what you guys fucking did to me back in 2014, I had every fucking reason to go at your fucking asses. 
That's payback for what you guys did to me when I was down there. And let me tell you something. If I didn't leave, I would not have gotten back up here in time to see my older brother before he passed away in 2015. Which was a year after I came down there. So as far as I'm concerned, you both are fucking dead to me. Just like you said to my mom that y'all want nothing to do with me. I want nothing to do with either of you guys either. You guys are fucking dead to me. The minute you guys started bashing on me and my mom is the minute you guys fucking died. And I know that's wrong to say, but you know what? It's the fucking truth. After what you guys did to me, you guys deserved every bit of fucking hate that I threw your way earlier today. I've been holding it in and holding it in. But you know what? No more. You guys fucked up. You want to sit there and say, I'm not your guys, that I'm not my dad's son? Oh, fucking well. Ask me if I give a fuck at this point. Hell, to be honest with you, he's nothing to me anymore anyway. The dad I once knew is dead. Now all that's left is an empty, fucking deadbeat piece of shit drug addict. That's all that's left in that empty fucking shell that used to be my dad. Because let me tell you right now, Jenny Joe, you're a fucking psychopathic bitch who turned my dad into a fucking drunk, who turned him into a fucking drug addict. So as far as I'm concerned, my dad is dead. The minute you turned him into what you did, he died. So good luck with that piece of shit husband of yours. Because you turned him into somebody I don't fuck. You turned him against me. You made him into somebody that he's not. And I'm not okay with that. But the fact that you had the balls to sit there and say that I need to learn how to structure a sentence and that... My music career is fake. That's a ball-faced fucking lie. Ask any one of these people watching. They will tell you the same thing. They've seen the proof of what I do. Yeah, I might not be touring, but guess what, bitch? I fucking made it. And it's no thanks to you guys. So you want to continue to fucking rip on me? Go right ahead. Because you two are fucking dead to me. You guys can do this and go fuck yourselves. And if you think I'm playing, try me, bitch. Because guess what? What I did is not harassment. That's payback, motherfucker. Learn. You can say I'm harassing you all you want. But the fact of the matter is, that is not harassment. That is payback. For every motherfucking thing that you guys put me through when I was down there visiting you guys. That is payback. That is not harassment. Get it right, bitch. And if you guys want to come up here and kick my ass, I fucking dare you to try it. You won't get two fucking steps up the porch before I kick both of your asses. If you don't think I can do it, try me. I have no problem blowing your fucking brains out. You guys wanted to point guns at me while I was down there? Well, guess what? Step up here. I can do the same fucking thing, too. And if you don't think I can, try me. Because guess what? Private property, bitch. You want to fucking start shit? Go ahead and step on this property. I will have every fucking reason in the world to blow your goddamn brains out if you step on this property and pull a fucking gun on me, just like you did when I was down there. 
So I dare you to step up here and step up with a fucking gun. I guarantee you you'll get blown off the motherfucking porch without warning. Because you two are fucking psychopathic bitches with no respect for anyone. You guys treated me like shit when I was down there. You bashed on my mom. In the worst ways possible. And you expect me to just sit here after all these years? And just sit by and not do anything? No. That ain't gonna happen, bitch. I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut about what you two fucking did. You guys verbally and physically and mentally abused me when I was down there. And that's not okay. I'm not okay with that. And neither is anybody else. And you wonder why nobody wants anything to do with you? You guys are pieces of shit. You guys are worthless garbage because of you drink, smoke, and do drugs all fucking day. All you do is fucking drink beer and go out and party. That's all you guys fucking do. And that right there makes you worthless. If you had any fucking sense at all, you wouldn't be doing the shit you're doing. Yeah, I respected him for what he did for the military. Don't get me wrong. I respect that 100%. But the man he's become is a worthless piece of shit. You sit around, drink booze, get drunk, get high, and get fucking strung out on goddamn drugs all goddamn day long. When he's not working, what's he doing? Getting strung out on drugs, drinking, and smoking all goddamn day. So as far as I'm concerned, you two are not fucking family. You are dead to me. I don't even know you guys. What you guys did to me when I was down there is wrong. You guys had the fucking nerve to fucking do what you did to me. Because of you guys, I almost lost a fucking leg. If I had stayed down there one more day, I would have lost my fucking leg. And that's not, that's not just me saying it, that's the that. I almost lost my leg because of you guys. When I had an infection in my leg so bad that I could not stand or walk. At that point, you guys should have said, hey, we need to get into a hospital. Instead of sitting there trying to take care of your goddamn selves, you guys should have got me to a fucking hospital beforehand. But no, what'd you guys do? You sit there and let it fester up to the point to where I almost fucking lost my leg. And I've got problems. You guys are so fucking delusional, it's pathetic. You guys are beyond delusional. And you know, and it saddens me. I used to respect you guys. I used to a hundred percent. But after what you guys did to me and what you guys have been trying to pull, how can I respect you? I had every right to send you guys that message after what you fucking did to me. I told you I was going to do it. I told you I was going to make the music come hell or high water. And look what I fucking did. Fucking made it. Without you helping. 
if you don't believe me, ask anybody in this live stream that has heard my music. They will tell you the exact same fucking thing. I am made it. And it's no thanks to you fucking ass- assholes. And yeah, it kills me to say that you guys are dead to me. It, it hurts me. But after what you fucking did to me, how can you expect me to not say that? How can you expect me to not sit here and rub it in your fucking faces and show you guys up once and for all that I can do anything I fucking set my goddamn mind to? I made it in fucking music without your fucking help. And you say I need to get a job? Well, guess what, motherfuckers? Doing music is my job. That's what I do every fucking day. That is my job. You can take your bullshit fucking comments and go fuck off. I am tired of your mouths. You want to keep running your shit about me? Go right ahead. I don't give two fucks. You guys are worthless pieces of shit to me anyway. After what you did to me, you guys don't deserve a goddamn thing that you have. You left me outside in the freezing cold at 5 in the morning. I damn near got fucking sick as hell. And on top of that, you get me drunk, had me fucking peeking my goddamn guts out for an hour straight. And then because of y'all motherfuckers wanting to be lazy and not wanting to take me to the hospital, I almost lost my fucking leg when I was down there. And you say I got issues? You two motherfuckers need to wake up. You need a goddamn fuck out of you. Right in your goddamn faces. And honestly, I'll be glad to fucking bitch slap you with it. I have no issue fucking smacking you on the goddamn face with a dose of reality. Because y'all are so fucking delusional. And so fucked up in the head from everything that y'all are doing. That... You can't see past your own goddamn ears. You need to drop that fucking ego trip bullshit and wake the fuck up. And y'all wonder why nobody in the family wants anything to do with you? There's a reason. Because all you do is talk shit about people. You get drunk, you get strung out on drugs, and you get high all goddamn day. And I'm going to be straight up honest. When either one of y'all die, I'm not going to feel sorry for either one of you because you guys did this to yourselves. Nobody else. And I guarantee you I won't be at the fucking funeral. Because I don't know either of y'all anymore. Y'all are nothing but a bunch of fucking dope-headed drug addicts. Who get drunk and high and strung out on drugs all goddamn day. Thinking it's funny. Yeah, I'll admit, you guys won the jackpot at the casino and that's fine. I'm, I'm proud of y'all for that. That's awesome. But that doesn't mean you go fucking blow your money on dumb shit like drugs and booze and alcohol. And fucking weed all goddamn day. Oh, and if, you, and if those of you watching right now, if y'all want to know how they took care of me when I was down there, they did it. They didn't even have any fucking food in their goddamn fridge. There's nothing but fucking alcohol in there. Nothing but. Because all they like to do is go out and fucking party and blow their goddamn money. They'd rather get strung out on drugs, drink alcohol all fucking day till they pass out, and get high as fuck and blow their money. 
So all I have to say to you two motherfuckers is I hope you have a nice time in hell. Because that's where you're fucking going, bitch. <laughs>